I think that's everything here. Want to get going? I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to neither of Brother, look! That strange bugger popped back <gasps> into the ground again! fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. <laughs> you did it. 
Let's see what it drops. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look! There's a chain we can pull up there. That couldn't find a patch on high! Think you can uncover that geyser from here? Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheels. Hey, nice one. Can you see anything from that block? about freezing the guys are under the wheel. Maybe? No! That's one of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. All of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. <clears throat> that earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely. But geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellia, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only 
sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Could we talk to you we for a... We don't want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail <gasps> in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sentry! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for our replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Whew! <sighs> there. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Behind you, mother! Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. <laughs> For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Another of Cavassia's poems. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh, my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, 
any of them is considered a threat. Sounds like an organism if I ever had one. <clears throat> At your service. Till we meet again! What can I make for you? Hey, what happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Be safe! <sighs> Best of luck! Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Oh, wow. Andre wasn't kidding about the structural sensitivity. Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Find out which she had until she turned to... ...suckle. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <coughs> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. Yeah. We need more special equipment to use this.
that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now, scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. 
Ah, oh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir. Are you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. <laughs> wow, there's a lot to explore here. Kinda nice to be out of this guard for a bit, huh? Behind you! Incoming! 
Like they chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process.
dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. I'll disinfect my tools. By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting.
Careful. Had them built to harvest ore for armaments, essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied. <sighs> Thank you. 
Bet we could swing across that uh lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Quite right. It's got to be the right spot. Those bottles. I smell fuel. Bet a spot from your blades would be. Oh. Well experimented. Around here, if you found a high enough place to drop from. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
That should help. Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. Brother, before we leave, perhaps it might serve us to check the rig and see if it spat anything up. Not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Spartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Huh. There's such a big bay. There's no fish. Must be because of the smoke from those mining rigs. stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. And the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now.
Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Another one of those geysers, but huge. Maybe we could check it out later. We can see it fine from here. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Hrimthur. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband. And Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seem dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir god's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best, but not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same. No. This is... He can't still be here. What? There's a key on this island. I need you to find it, brother. An innocent life is at stake. an innocent life was at stake. Did Odin trap somebody here? No lad. <gasps> I did.
Stretch on the left. Weak down here, father. That gear. Looks like it would freeze. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there. the ground from up there? Key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. Okay, what other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Oh, I know. There was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. Ah, but enough of that for now. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Putin to kill them? I don't. Right side, brother! If the dwarves didn't like working for Asgard, couldn't they just quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped, it, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful.
did you sow seed to Moose Bahan? Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Now we can make it across. Just keep coming! It's a bear trap! Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow! The hive will be so! Behind you! Watch out! Call so meager a task done. 
A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No, but it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. The air smells a lot cleaner. It's because we shut down the rigs. Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Aesir gods? And there was Thren the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor and oh! Skies to murder his entire court. And we'll just stop there for now. Is that pure Svartalfheim slag? Give it here. that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. the voice I heard. I hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints.
a Loonbocker. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. Look, the fish are coming back. Oh, so they are. Dock here. Maybe there's another way up. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. Yeah! Uh, 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 uh. 
things, too. If you could... <sighs> But we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. We're leaving? But we aren't done here yet. Nicely done. You're angry with me, aren't I you, Robert? remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. That was a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. Defend, if you could. I know. Just the tail left now.
Maybe that dock can lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. Ashamed of the mistakes he's made. No. would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dog. still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. Huh? 
where we need to go. Slide down that rope. Looks like the only way to reach the tail. I see something. There. You're free! What's going on? Maybe it needs a little encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face-to-face -face button? <laughs> Creature. The mining rigs. They're mistakes, Vimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it.
on, you great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But... No. No, we can face this. We just need to chase it off. Scare it! Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. Likes the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Thor and Odin stories to remember? Who else? Ah, room near the brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. I think it means seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms and keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad, and a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts, or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit, even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> here to collect on something, pal. Think, uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I... Wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. 
failed. Faye is dead. Best of them are. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin. And free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. I'm clinging to the wall! Gotta knock it down! What your life! Okay, as I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. 
The dwarf has given us an app. Sort of. Uh, smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tear! Darylan helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. <laughs> Heimdall. There's a name I don't miss hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Darling! He didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and a bearer of Galahorn. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Seems like we're here. Come on. This way. You can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. It seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that us. is his war to fight, he may have it. more special equipment to use. I don't think this is working, brother. Maybe we should come back. Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. Atreus! Yeah! <laughs> 
Go! 
If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed.
Down there. I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok. To help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. <sighs> Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. The wretches keep coming from that pillar. Looks like a mess. back on the track. <laughs> wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Hmm, hopefully that's it. Keep going. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two, here we go. Covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could. Uh oh. Look 
for a break to stop the train. Oh. Should be a lever of some sort. Damn it! Uh, the brake stuck! Keep trying, little brother. Brother! Stop this train! I think it's about to... Uh. No! Hey! Shit, 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 shit! Uh. Said it, little brother. I think I see a passage, if we can get through this ore. <laughs> this place is incredible. <clears throat> the whetstone of the night, Ripper. In resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. But enough about you. I'm talking about the whetstone.
So, point the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from bro- The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. Stop the water flow on that trough. That's it. Let's head across. <laughs> Good bet there's a couple more near here. Let's find them, yeah? Cooperative in large scare quotes.
be able to get up there if you help me. Great. I'll head across for a better look. Father, there's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. I hope you can make that jump. It's another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Aye, might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get the wet stuff to do it for you? Sure hope Tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet, you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? On your side, I will lift on mine. <laughs> Heavier than I thought. Mm. Thanks. Let's keep moving. Like we found Darlin's mine entrance. I've got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark, these will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait. What do you mean by untold horrors?
That was close. That huge crane's moving this way. the likelihood Tyr is imprisoned in this mine. Ah, Darlin might have been as well-oiled as this crane. I don't believe he'd lead us astray. You think the lad's too trusting? He is eager to prove himself. It clouds his judgment. Oh, I know you have more faith in him than that. Mm. More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Gvassia.
think this is it. This is the mine. Look out! Right side! Incoming! Watch your right! Well, looks like the official entrance to the mine is blocked. This way. Nice. Not a dead end. Come on, let's see where this goes. Uh, you guys again? Behind you! Where are they all coming from? It certainly smells like we're headed into a mine. I think I can hear the water, too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. <sighs> I think I found where those wretches were coming from. They will overwhelm you quickly. Stay close. these things leave behind is so gross. A small consequence for disturbing the home. Let's keep moving. The Alpha. <laughs> Maybe we can ride this boat thing further into the mine. Worth a shot. Sorry, I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff, and I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. There's a the door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. Well, its instructions do not say which one. Nope, we're on our own here. 
Your question from before, about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time, there are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No, I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword, looks. I think I can sharpen those chain blades of yours. <laughs> Thanks for grabbing that for us. Whatever you need. Fire's actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. Strike true. I am, as always, at your service. I'll heat up the forge. Might be my best piece yet today. Keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? It fits. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. Ugh. 
Whoever wrote this certainly had an eye for detail. Look, there's a door just across the gap. Here could be right there. The water flows blocked. Oh, the water's overflowing where you froze that trough. That's helpful. Sounds like you got the water moving along, brother. What next? There should be a way to turn the wheel, no? That works. Let's get to the door. Come on. Tyr? Well, I certainly don't think this is where Tyr currently is. He, he's got to be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Ahem. Brothers, with Thimblewinter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Anything illuminating. Huh. Glad we explored. How many doors are there down here? <laughs> Not to be discouraging, but it is a mine after all. Namir, that is discouraging. Uh, did you see that over there? There's a broken door up to the left behind this crane. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. We should look. Wait, where are you going? We will return. Another door! Let's beat these guys and check there! Find your poison! Stop us!
Shall we? I think we can go this way. A statue. Made for the Aesir. Indeed. And then stolen by Ulf, Yolf the thief. That should keep the lift fully powered up. We're almost there. Hmm? That sounded like it wasn't quite right there, brother. Take that lift up. Tear can't be far.
Outstanding! That overflowing water is powering the crane. Mm -hmm. Clever. We'll be up there in no time. exercise. Let's think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in his mind. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could. Certainly weren't here. Best look around. Dwarf oh! didn't make it out. Is that a relic? able to get out of here this way. Another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother, perhaps it's time no, we... No, don't even say it. 
We're gonna find him. Look, another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. Up there. The path keeps going. We'll just have to get across. Wait, is that the same war we've seen before? That worked. I do believe we're above where we got off the boat by Sindri. This mine is one enormous spiral. <laughs> that work the chain is blocked should be clear now ready when you are I think I can hear something in there. A statue. Not just any statue. That stony visage hung over the entrance to the World Mill, built by Durin the Generous. <laughs> Another drug of old brother. <laughs> 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 Mine is largely abandoned. It is unlikely. Here's here. I know it. Derlin's direction stopped at the entrance to the mine. We just have to keep searching until we find him. You said you'd follow my lead, and I say we keep looking. So knock it off. Watch yourself. I will follow, but I state what I see. You did not agree with me, but you will not speak to me this way. Are we clear? Sir. One more door. That one has to be it. We will see. Seems like we'll have to get to it first. We've used water to power the wheels before. Worth a try. Didn't quite work. Something else we can do? Let's keep looking around. There's gotta be something else.
Well across. Look for another way. I think I see a crank over here. Atreus. Another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? Proof means a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong. And you did the right thing. War does not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. Okay, it looks like this machine is dropping ore into the water truck.
you at the door. This could be it. We still have to go back and check out that last door, right? Looks familiar. We're back in the spiral section of the mine. Did you hear that, brothers? I don't think we're alone. Gears open. Eyes up. It came from over here. There's a passage leading out. Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers! Wait, is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's barred. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that. You have a spare bed for it. I see what we must do. Brother. Ah! 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 
in there. This has to be it. Back to it then. Trickery is this Odin. What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. Stay away. Rather, let me try. Tiar. Tiar. Look, you know me, don't you? You... You killed Mimir. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, we, we brought him right back. Yeah, stay away from me, you monsters. Stop. We need him. Why?
betray us! This way! Cut him off! I'm about to get Dr. Rosa Bunch, aren't I? Son. Listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get, get you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You. Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Can you feel that? A wind. Blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names <clears throat> by which I should call you? I'm Atreus. You already know Mimir. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak for the Yonar? My mother was the last giant in Midgard. Laufey? Laufey. I remember that name. She tried to help people, too. She's in the light of Alphine now. You have my sympathies. Are you okay? These 
are just much stronger when you're not sitting down. Please, let me get that. It's the least I can do. Risk Odin's wrath to free me. Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um. Um. Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Namir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment. Execrable torture at the hands of the Old Father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to... Well, that. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. Ah! You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Baldur... Baldur is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos and... Anyway, I promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it Come back. Here. Speak of Baldur. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey. We're back in the wetlands. Watch out! No. No, 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 no. It's okay. I got you. Boys, they get back! attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. No. I have abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You, you speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me, that I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war, or worse yet, lead you to it, then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. 
Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tier we need. We need you. All right. All I ask is for a good night's rest. And maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Balder tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the giants are all gone? And now they called me Loki. And finding the shrines the Giants are gone? And we got to Jotunheim. They were all... dead. Dead? Do you think Odin... We do not know. <laughs> I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa, what are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Einhryar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir, too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Too long. I had forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are. were. very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. Hey, Tyr! This is the place we use your Unity Stone to reach where you hit the Jotunheim Tower. Oh, yes. So much trouble I went to, trying to protect the Giants. Did it work? I guess. I'm not sure. A treehouse. Lord Tyr, you're really alive! Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. <laughs> so, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Still. Yep. Oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, Tyr. I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tyr. Sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you! I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. And I'll arrange accommodations. I may need time to instruct the bed. <laughs> Please, don't go to trouble on my account. Too much space would be unsettling. So that's what's left to tear, huh? Yeah, 
Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical? Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hard tack. Hard tack. Any sort of humble ship's biscuit will do. Hi, with a pinch of salt? Well, I'll see what I can find. What'll it be? <sighs> Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man. Without the All Father's eye on me. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. You expect too much. Aye, ah, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No, I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh! You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. Oh. <gasps> But we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air, is all. Well, 
I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No, I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh... I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but... why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think your man gave us nearby. I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kind of happened, and I need answers. Chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! What are you looking at me for? I gave you the fancy bowstring. True. So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of... turned into a bear. A bear? Including the flopper? Yeah. Bet I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. Yeah. Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it. Yes! Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Looks dwarf. Huh. It is sound stone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. <laughs> so, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled, bare rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- You said you need to touch them. I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Yep. Be nice. Uh, okay, right. I'll just take this, you dirty pile of rocks. Ah, don't touch me! Wow, Sindri, harsh words. Not sure he'll recover. Shut up. 
You want to help or not? All right, all right. That's a quality craftsmanship. Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Yoffa! I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. Njormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you no. That's not weird at all. Talk. 
Ironwood. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. frozen. Maybe I can... Would you just let me do it? Is that frozen lightning? Yep. Want a closer look? So what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is... Yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Quite enough excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. Oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Hi. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Vesla, I wish it did. <gasps> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself.
sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. <gasps> and this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. Living is an option. <sighs> okay. Now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward. I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Care of that. things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. <clears throat> Maybe if you listen to me. Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Go! 
Trust her. Why won't you tell me? I wish I had a compass.
Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Yeah. Down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes! I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts! Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too! Yep, that's the door. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. She probably would mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate <clears throat> is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to <clears throat> Odin. Nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, you learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe... I'm supposed to... help stop Odin. Somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and... you won't fight Odin... 
and he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again, I am far from whole. Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfarn. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together. Enough. Enough! <laughs> Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. I will never, ever admit this injury. <laughs> Good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! <laughs> I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. You think this stuff grows on trees? Nightmare. I'm gonna be sick. I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. Oh. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Did they ever quit?
Okay, back to Alphine Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. It's not the same thing. Really? Now? Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <sighs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted to... Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. <clears throat> Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Hmm. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? 
You hate Alphonse. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Here, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where did this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock has <laughs> The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. I'll take him. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? 